Good evening, all the summary of WTV News. The Electoral Commission continues to recognize the appeals submitted by counting and sorting results of ballot boxes. The Commission confirmed that it will continue to receive appeals until the end of official working hours on Tuesday. Stressing that the appeal will refer to the head of the judiciary of the elections by the chairman of board of commissioners. Tahrir movement denied the news of forming a Kurdish delegation comprising all parties on negotiations to form a government in Baghdad. A member of the movement, Pastun Faak al Tahrir movement, rejects any alliance with all the parties of Barzani and Talabani to go to Baghdad with a unified delegation, indicating that the opposition parties in the region will resort to the op option of political opposition within the government of the region and the center to improve the government performance during the coming period. Dozens of citizens and civilian activists in Basra continue their sit-ins to protest against the poor services. Employment of the unemployed and the implementation of demands that the government is trying to solve. The protesters renewed their demands for the government to provide services and job opportunities for the unemployed from the people of Basra and establishment of stations to improve the reality of electricity, stressing their continued insistence until the fulfillment of their demands. Spokesman for the Popular Mobilization Northern X for the Liberation of Iraq, Ali Al Husseini, denied any talks on the return of Peshmerga to Kirkuk. Al Husseini stressed that reports express that there are negotiations with Peshmerga to return to the areas of Kirkuk and the disputed areas are baseless, especially after the implementation of the plan to impose the law and the spirit spread of federal forces, adding that the popular mobilization continues operations in several areas of Karkuku province adjacent to the north of Diala and party Salah Din. To Yemen, where Sa'da province has witnessed the martyrdom of children who rose up as a result of raid by the Saudi Aggression Alliance on their bus during a school trip in Dahyan. The participants condemned the silence of the international community on the massacres of the, on the American Saudi aggression against the Yemeni people stressing the continuation of fighting sides against the colonial ambition pursued by the countries of aggression to occupy the Yemeni's land. The forces of the Zionist occupation entity arrested a number of Palestinians with campaign of raids in the West Bank. Palestinian sources confirmed that the Israeli occupation forces launched raids in the areas of Jenin, Ramallah and other areas in West Bank, resulting in the arrest of 11 Palestinians, including a leader of Hamas. Turkish Foreign Minister Mawlud Jawish Oglu has played down the importance of U.S. threats against his country. Oglo said during a press conference, we cannot accept the dictate and Washington must know that its threat will not come as a result. Turkey is taking active steps to achieve an economic boom that will be one of the strongest economies in the world. End of the summary. Goodbye.